Does this work? Oh. Yes. There we go. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hope you all are having a wonderful time at Berry Top. This is my first time being at VLFC. As you can tell, the wagon. And honestly, it's just been so much fun, and this show was great. Can we give it up for RDR one more time? so nice to be here and be back doing Dairy Talks again after first one being at Anthrocon, I think two years back, right? Woo! Yeah? Woo! Oh. But yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. Oh. No! When the furry is sus! So who's the imposter? I am? How does that work? Ah, what a, I'll figure it out later. Bye. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Nope. You stay right there. I made it to this side of the stage. <laughs> Woo! Hi. Hi. So, uh, you are Wolf Dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I heard your name is Betasetus Deletus. <laughs> nope. Okay. Uh, space, Mom. <laughs> so we're gonna do another one of these things. Do so you guys want to see it? You guys think I can make Beta do a front flip? I don't know, that might be a stretch. But uh, speaking of stretching, people I have to stretch to hug, I'm gonna bring 12 up, the lion. Cause he's tall, get it? It's, it's a short joke. I heard that. So, and we're also gonna bring out Tabby. Tyler, come on up, Tabby Tyler. And then Frank and Dingo. Hey, quit picking up Mark, you're supposed to be on stage. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, you guys want to hear another one of these stories? Yeah. yeah! So this one is called Lab Mishap. It was a dark and purple night. Why is purple bold? <laughs> act out purple, I guess. What is purple acted like? I don't know. Okay. Three individuals. <laughs> three individuals. Four individuals. You know what? We're going to read it as a three individuals stood next to each other. A mad scientist wolf dragon, wagon for short. Oh, that's what wagon means. Oh, I was always so confused. Named Dilbert. Yeah, that doesn't look like Dilbert eyelids to me. I'm just gonna say. Dilbert, a lab assistant tabby named Poopity Scoop. And a volunteer lion test experiment named Skidmark. <laughs> Dilbert turned to the others and quantified while he spoke. Finally, my glorious invention, it has been finished, and it shall be named Corn Train. <laughs> Poopity Scoop prepared the machine. In Skidmark, it is time for you to earn your paycheck. What in the hell? What? What? <laughs> Poopity Scoop began to poop. <laughs> you gotta act it out. You signed up for this. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> began to poop to prepare the machine. Apparently this machine is prepared by pooping. What a machine. While Skidmark turned to the wagon and howled and exclaimed worriedly, Listen, can we talk about this? I think it needs to go through some tests or something first, right? Jesus, please no. I don't like this machine. Dilbert laughed at the lion before walking in circles around the machine. Well, walk around the poop. 
<laughs> Nonsense! I, a mad scientist, know his best. The corn train will work and do exactly what it needs to do. Skip, you, you know, where, where are you in this? <laughs> Give it a second. Oh, okay. All right. Get, apparently you're coming in. All right. Uh, where, Jesus, no. Skidmark began getting squatting. Skidmark began getting squatting at the wagon. What? Sk began getting squatting. At the wagon. The wagon. What does the corn train even do? He asked curiously. Oh, those are some good squats. <laughs> Dilbert let out an evil laugh, walking up to the line and squeaking while saying, Do you not know? Oh, it's, it's Canadian apparently. It's Canadian poopies. <laughs> oh, it's simple really. It will turn you into a were lion. Poopity Scoop turned to Dilbert and finally stopped pooping. <laughs> I just got done with the show. You know, why, why, why did I volunteer for I thought this was supposed to find out if someone's an imposter. Oh, okay, makes sense. Dilbert, you came frustrated and pointed at the tabby. No, you fool! The corn train makes werebeasts. Who told you could stop preparing the machine? Keep pooping! Maybe even do some jumping to the machine. It will like that. The wagon says as the tabby followed the Dilbert's order. Skidmark slapped himself <laughs> and said, Look, are you sure this isn't like an FDA violation? <laughs> an OSHA violation? He said while frantically slapping himself more. <laughs> Dilbert laughed and noticed the lion getting cold paws before turning to Poopity Scoop and saying, fire the corn train. <laughs> Poopity Scoop stopped what he was doing and said, but Dilbert, it's not ready. <laughs> Gotta poop more, I guess. I don't know, that's not in the script, but it's the only thing I could deduct. <laughs> Do what? Natural fuel. Natural fuel? Yeah, you guys are putting way too much thought into this. <laughs> Dilbert quickly walked up to Poopity Scoop before firing the corn train himself. Watch in awe! The machine began to a wooing and boinging. <laughs> the machine began to a wooing. Mark. Oh, you guys, stop it. <laughs> As it fired at the lion, narrator audience makes the noise. You guys did it before I even read the script! Oh my god. Props. Props to you guys. And the lights went off for a moment. And the lights went off for a moment. And the, the lights went off for a moment. <laughs> yeah! Way to go, AV. I'm so sorry for doing this to you. Please don't hate me. The lights maybe came back on? It's not in here. Where am I at? <laughs> the corn train fired at the lion again. Narrator, please make a pew sound. Hey, can you guys just make the pew sound for me? That works, thank you. A moment later, there were two people standing in front of the wagon and Tabby. I think this is where you come in. Yeah. The lion patted himself, making sure he was fine, but noticed a dingo standing next to him. Aha! Are you going to poop too? Yeah, I don't know about that either. There was a brief moment of silence before the dingo spoke. Forklift! I don't know, just say forklift. forklift. There we go. Another minute of silence happened as they stared confused before Dilbert spoke. What? The dingo spoke again. Ah, nutcrackers and cans of walnuts. All nutcrackers and cans, cans of walnuts. As a squirrel, I like this part. The tabby turns back to the machine. Oh no. Where is the machine? Where have you guys been pooping? I don't want to walk there. There? Okay. All right, that's good. The dingo looked at the lion and said, Storage? <laughs> what? <laughs> Before toppling at the lion. What is... Mark, what is toppling? I don't know. All right, well, Hey, dingo, uh, topple at the lion. All over? Yeah, that counts. All right, so moving on. Oh. Okay, you, you weren't supposed to topple as well, but that works. 
Dilbert looked at the machine before dropping a sick beat. <laughs> hey, Dilbert. That's pretty good. <laughs> you idiot! You misspelled well, where monster. You spelled it where monster. W A R E. Oh my God! It's upside down. There we go. All right. <laughs> where am I at? Shoot. Like as if it was creating a warehouse monster. That's why he said storage. Oh. The dingo picked up Skidmark and began to carry him away. <laughs> Must store somewhere safe. Dilbert and Poopity Scoop began to chase after them, shouting as they exit. That's the whole thing? This is the whole... You guys pooped and created mist? <laughs> That's the story? This is the story? Please clap. We need it. Where was that spicy water? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 